Hi, everybody, and welcome to Raspberry Pi Live. Hi, I'm your host, Ski with Pete. I'm Ski with Pete, and I'm doing a Raspberry Pi uh, show today, tonight. Uh, just thought I would um, show that stuff off. So uh, welcome to everybody who've, who's been here before. Hello to my moderators especially. Uh, thanks, everybody, who've come and joined. Thanks so much. Uh, I keep looking a little bit over screen just because that's where all of my screens are. So uh, when I look over to the side, know that I'm uh, reading comments and saying hello to everybody. Firmly Strikers in the house. Harry Biker 98 was here. He's gone. I hope he's coming back. Vape Wizard is here. Andreas Bax back is here. Uh, Ganito is here. Welcome. And now you're a moderator, uh, Ganito. Welcome. Dax Jane is here. Uh, welcome, Dax Jane. Uh, Stanislaw. Hi. Welcome back. Andrew Murphy, um, welcome. So today is a little bit uh, different than usual. I'm, uh, ooh, I see that I've got the view with the subscribers. There we go. Um, today I'm looking at some Raspberry Pi stuff. Uh, so for those of you, Weekend Airsoft Warriors here, what's going on, buddy? Uh, for those of you, Fred K, maybe I'll just say hello to everybody first. Hey, everybody say hello. Oh, and don't forget, it's in 1080p, so watch in 1080p. I noticed not very many people are watching in 1080p, but come on, crank it up. Let's go full high def, because there's gonna be some really small little itty bitty parts that we're gonna talk about in a few minutes. Um, Fred K is here, Gimp Geek is here. What's going on, guys? Uh, so, for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. Uh, I'm Skewed Pete. The channel typically uh, does a lot of things. I mean, it, this channel started out doing a lot of Raspberry Pi stuff. Uh, of course, recently I've been doing a lot of mechanical keyboard stuff. But what I thought I would do is uh, spend some time kind of upgrading my channel. And I got this really cool offer in from banggood.com. I don't know much about Banggood. Uh, so they said, say, they said a couple things. They said, let us send you some stuff to go check out and then uh, see if you can do some projects with our stuff on your channel. And for that, we'll give you the stuff for free. So I got some stuff for free. Um, so I'll talk about what this stuff is in just a second, but still, I'm gonna say hello to everybody who's here live. Uh, Ross, Robert, Jeff uh, Cartocario, uh, Ian Gemmel, um, Gimp Geek, Really want to see this because I have an extra Pi Zero just looking for a product to be used. There's my Pi Zero. The only thing with this Pi Zero, I just put in this, I found this a micro SD card, this little guy. I found it like 10 minutes ago and so I put Raspbian on it, but I don't know if it's gonna work. I hope it works. Um, Eric Leone says it defaulted to 240 for me for some reason. That's what I'm saying. We gotta make sure that everybody pumps it up to 1080 because I'm broadcasting in full 1080p. So, you know, we gotta make the most of it. Uh, Oscar Hernandez in the house. Andrew Murphy says, oh, he buys from Banggood all the time. Uh, I can't say, I can't say I have before, to be honest. Uh, they gave me a bit of a budget. And so I decided to uh, pick some cool stuff up for the project. And uh, the project is bigger than what I'm gonna show today. Today, I'm just gonna like set it up, check that it works. Uh, and then I'm gonna start expanding on it over over time. Sorry, I just hit the mic. Hope that didn't whack your ears too bad. Um, Andreas Bax says, Bang Good sells some good keyboards too. Neat. Oscar Hernandez in the house. What's going on, Oscar? Uh, it's an Alibaba subsidiary, is it? Uh, here's hoping it works. Where's the 8K, Pete, says Andreas. Andreas, we're, we're working on 4K, and that'll be a while yet. So uh, we'll see what we can do. How's that for... Uh, Great answer to a bad question. Or no, a bad answer to a great question. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's a question, this is an answer, what's going on? Okay, so we've got uh, 38 people currently on the channel. Uh, if I can ask you guys, please do press like. Uh, this says it's gonna be about a Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi, and a projector, projector. Uh, so let's get things underway. Um, please do press like, the more likes this show gets, uh, the more people get to come and join. I see that uh, there's 42 viewers currently here. Uh, if we get up, you know, into the the higher the higher numbers of likes, uh, that'll get more people uh, here. Andrew Murphy says Banggood is a good company to buy from overseas. Interesting. Like I say, this is my this is my first go. So far, it's worked out pretty well. Um, let me explain to you what this first 
this first thing is, and there's a little not Raspberry Pi, but it's part of the, the bigger project, so you're going to understand what it's for later or in upcoming episodes. But this is a CPU stand. I used to have one of these on a really old computer. Well, I say really old. It was like a P3450. That's pretty old. Um, this, uh, as you can see from this picture in the bottom corner here, uh, puts wheels on the bottom of your tower. And so this is my streaming setup. And while you can't see all of it here, uh, it um, it will link into my computer. It'll raise the computer up, and then I can move the computer around, which will be another part of the project for, for the future. Um, Mr. Kibble says, are you doing the giveaway soon? The giveaway is actually going to be part of tomorrow's uh, stream. Uh, I talked to the guys at uh, Cooler Master. Guys, so you know, there's going to be a huge Cooler Master. Let, let me show you. There's a Cooler Master giveaway, but because the product hasn't been released yet, they don't want me to start the giveaway until closer to the release date. So hold on. This is going to be the giveaway. So if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, you should totally subscribe to the channel because this giveaway is going to be pretty huge. Uh, there's a Cooler Master Master Keys Pro M RGB LED Mechanical MX Switch Cherry Keyboard. It's going to be awesome. Uh, but that is not for today. Uh, today, instead, I'm going to be doing uh, I'm going to be doing this project. But I'm talking about this first, just because you know. The CPU stand, there's a link to it in the about section below, uh, but basically this CPU stand is just to be used to raise up my computer. So you won't, you won't see a whole heck of a lot more about it than this. This is probably the last time you're going to see it, which is cool, but yeah. So that I'm going to use to raise my computer up and raising my computer up, of course, will have big benefits for my uh, soldering iron because I, I don't know if you can tell but that's as far as the cable goes so if I can get I can't go all the way over to the edge of my screen because it's done so by for those of you who are new this is my solder cam solder cam um, so that's gonna be that's gonna be really useful for the overall project but let's move on to the main thrust here the main just just before I do Fred K says why would someone dislike did somebody dislike oh man 23 likes so is pretty good 23 likes is, is pretty good I mean it still means there's 23 of you out there that haven't liked but you know it's your call um, Eric Leone is in the house. Mr. Kibbles, if I didn't already say hello, hello. Um, just reading the other, uh, just reading the other bits. Something just fell. I don't know what it was. Uh, Harry Biker says, will I still be able to enter the stream giveaway if I can't watch the whole stream tomorrow. Uh, absolutely, Harry Biker. Uh, there'll just be a link. I'm probably going to post the link on Reddit as well, uh, but you'll need to be subscribed to this channel in order to be able to enter. The contest will run uh, just over a week, so there's plenty of opportunity. Don't worry. Chill out. Everything will be fine. You'll be part of it. I promise. Uh, okay, so let's talk about what should we talk about? Should I talk about the project as a whole or should I talk about what I'm doing? Uh, all right, let's, let's talk about the project as a whole first. Okay, so what I've got here in this setup is five cameras. And so the other day, uh, where's my thing? Here we go, here's all five cameras. So uh, this is camera one, uh, this is camera two, this is camera three, uh, action cam is off currently, uh, but that's camera four, and then I've got a uh, solder cam. Uh, action cam is off because what I'm going to do is, you can see the Raspberry Pi here, this is going to be, well, this is an HDMI out, and that's going to go into action cam in a few minutes. So we're going to be able to watch uh, any of the, the interesting-ish stuff that I do with that. And then eventually I'll plug that into the LED projector. But let's just make a bit more sense of it first. Okay, so what I decided that I could do that could really enhance this would be to do projector mapping. 
So that's kind of my plan is to highlight or reinforce particular areas of my desk. So as I put my hands on, I could have them uh, glow or I could have animations appear on my desk. Or the other thing, because people always ask me what keyboard they should buy, what I wanted to do was be able to roll out a mat and then project some text onto that mat. So I got the mat here. Um, this isn't gonna look that interesting for just yet. But what I'm gonna do as I roll this out is I'm gonna mount the LED up here, the projector up beside this thing, beside you here, uh, and then I'll project down onto this black mat. At least that's still my plan. Okay, so. Harry Biker 98 says, okay, cool, do you have a subreddit? Hmm, no, I don't have a subreddit. I never really thought about getting my own subreddit. But no, it'll be on uh, Reddit for slash R Mechanical Keyboards. So uh, just before I get into the LED projector, which I'm about to do, uh, thank you again to Banggood for deciding to support this project. Uh, it's very cool of you at Banggood uh, to support this. Um, by sending me some products so that I can do some stuff like this. Uh, I take my live streaming thing pretty seriously. I enjoy doing it. I enjoy hanging out with you guys and, and joining in the, the chat. So uh, I really do appreciate Banggood uh, supporting the channel. It, it really is cool of them to do that. Uh, they offered to send me this uh, LED projector. And so, look, I'm gonna straight up, I thank you. That's friggin' awesome. Uh, if you can, go check in the About section below. There's a link to this projector. This projector, by the way, is 35 bucks. This is even less expensive than a Raspberry Pi. Yeah, wait a sec. Is it 39 bucks? Maybe it's 39 bucks. Marcelo Bissarro says, Hi from Brazil. Can't wait for the final result. Awesome. Can I, can I just take a quick one quick second? I'm just going to be one second. I'm just going to check how much this is. So I don't say it a thousand times incorrectly. It's $35.99. Is that what I said? It's $35.99. So it's about the same price as a Pi. And it's a projector. I mean... Gimp Geek says five camera setup for streaming. Nah, you're not taking it too serious. LOL. See what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? I'm just going to adjust this camera here because, you know, I take it serious. Thirty-five ninety-nine for an LED projector. That's what I'm saying. Corn Martins, what's going on? Jeff Katakario says thirty-five euros. Interesting. Um, thirty-five ninety-nine says Ken Lilly. Yep, we're pretty pretty sure of the price now. Um, but thank you everybody for participating. I gotta say this is part of the this is probably the best thing about these live streams is that I get to ask you guys questions and you know your answers and responses straight away uh, help guide me and tell me what I'm doing right or wrong or all that stuff. So uh, think of this like an extended chill out uh, session because we get to hang out and do well basically where I'm gonna build something with a Raspberry Pi Zero which is cool as hell and I'm gonna do it live which is fun but you know. All right, let's talk about some weirdness with this thing. Okay, so first of all, it's an LED projector and it does that by projecting through an LCD, which is why it says both says LCD and LED. It says supported files. Now this is, this is weird, I don't understand this because I haven't looked inside yet. I don't know why it has supported files. I don't get it, but it claims to have resolutions of 567p, 480p, 720p, 1080p, and then all these other crazy re resolutions all the way up to 1680 by 1050. But what's weird is it also says that its resolution is 320 by 240. See what I'm saying? Here it says TFT LCD. Can you see this? Maybe I'll zoom in. Let me just zoom in. Corne Martens. Is that how I'm supposed to say it? Cor Corne? Cornet, Cornet Martens, that's how I would say it. Okay. Specs may be modified without notice. That's weird. Okay, so first of all, the imaging part is a TFT LCD. Uh, it's got four to 600 lumens with a contrast ratio of 800 to one. That, 
I'm going to be honest, you can buy some really expensive projectors and that does not sound anything like their specs. Uh, their specs are usually like in the 18,000 lumens and a uh, ratio of like 10 million to one. Uh, so this is pretty, this is kind of low. Uh, native resolution is 320 by 240, which again, it's not so hot, but we'll see. We'll, I mean, I'm going to give this thing its, its total due here. Uh, supported resolution is 1920 by 1080. The light is an LED. The LED lifetime is 30,000 hours. Alexa, what's 30,000 hours in days? 30,000 hours in 1,250 days. 1,250 days. Assuming I ran it all the time, that would be... Alexa, what's 30,000 hours in years? 1,000 hours is 0 0.1. No, she didn't understand the question. Whatever, I can't do the math quickly enough while I'm on here. Um, okay, uh, manual operation. I assume that means that you read the manual and that operates it. Uh, projection distance is 0 0.8 to 2 meters. Uh, so that's 1 to 2 meters, uh, which is just about the same height as this thing. You can see the tip of my finger there. Wow. Uh, so that, again, is why I'm going to mount that up there. Uh, projection size is 24 to 60 inches. This desk is 30 inches across. Brotaku is here. He's at Nationals right now on robotics. This guy's super cool. Great mod. Uh, projecting onto black, didn't think that was possible. Maybe it won't be. I don't know. It was just my thought. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, 3.4 years. That, thank you for doing the math. The Akara. Uh, you got my Alexa to answer live. That's awesome. You triggered my Alexa live. Sorry, which device did you want? Uh, uh, yeah. Um. All right. Uh, Sorry, I couldn't find a device or group name to link this account. Guys, this is great. I just looked over. I just noticed there's almost 80 viewers, and we're I one sec. We're at 32 likes. If you haven't already, this is a channel where we're going to be talking about turning this Pi Zero on with this projector. This is a $35 LED projector. Please do, if you haven't already, please do press like. Please do press subscribe. Uh, this channel is going to, this video is going to keep going for a while yet. Uh, but we're just looking at the outside of the box here. Uh, projection ratio of 1.6 to 1, which is, 1.6 to 1 is uh, 16 by 9, so that's correct. Uh, aspect ratio is 4 by 3, that's not as good. Uh, color is 16.7 million, which is full color. Uh, power supply. Oh, or you could have a built-in battery. You could get this projector with a battery. That's pretty cool. I didn't know. Hmm. Didn't know you could do that. Uh, power consumption is 10 to 24 watts. Uh, and system support is multimedia. Languages unit size is pretty small, but we'll see more of that in just a second. All right, let's get inside of this puppy. And it says US plug here, uh, but weirdly, this also arrived in the mail. So, who knows? Who knows? Uh, this is my first time opening this. Uh, I've not done this before. Uh, my, God knows I'm not an actor. So the, whatever I do and say is real because God knows I can't act. So if I look like I'm surprised, I'm surprised. If I don't look like I'm surprised, I'm not surprised. So that was the box, nothing else in it. Whoa. Whoa, it, it is small. That's. I thought it was gonna be like the same size as the box and that there would be stuff under it, but look how tiny this thing is. Oh, and it's got its own micro SD slot in it. So that's probably why it supports all those medium, media. <laughs> Alexa in the, in the other room just went off. Sorry, I didn't understand the question. <laughs> it's getting worse, not better. This is this is really small. Ooh, ooh, neat. Look, whoa, whoa, neat. And it's geared actually, so there's, it feels really responsive. That's neat. Uh, okay, and then then there's this. This is the power pack. Power pack. Oh, it's even got a remote. 
That's surprising. Uh, and it's got um, one of these video to three. So for those of you who've never seen one of these before, your grandparents use these. Uh, this plugs in to the, it looks like the audio jack, but out the other end of it, you get uh, left and right, which are uh, red and white audio, and you get yellow picture. Is that right? Or are they? Yeah, that's right. It's not RGB, because then one of these would be blue. But yeah, that's how you get, that's how you get video, if you needed that. I don't, because we got... Okay, just quick flick through the user guide. I don't want to make this too long. I'm not going to pretend that I don't like to read the um, instruction booklets, because I do, because I, I don't want this thing to blow up on me. Uh, connect the power as follows. Yeah, power on, power off. Press the power on. No kidding. Remote control introduction. It looks like it's okay. User interface. Oh, it has its own little user interface. Oh, that's interesting. Uh... HD multimedia connection. We might use that later. Okay, what's what else is in here? Choose the file you want to play. This is neat, so it could just do its own its own thing. Okay, and it's got a headphone jack, which means I could do direct audio if I needed to. Uh, and then it tells you how to use nah, don't know. Okay. Um I'm going to put this back in here, and this wall wart, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to plug in right away. This actually came with a US, this came with a US adapter. So I don't know why they sent me an extra US adapter, that's weird, um, but they did. Okay, I'm just going to move this stuff, oh, maybe I'll keep the remote out, actually, just for funsies. It doesn't feel like it's got a battery in it. No, it doesn't have batteries in it. So I'll have to I'll have to grab some batteries in a minute if I want to use that. Just gonna put this off to the side of this, and I don't need that anymore. Okay. Scott McKendry from New Zealand with two bucks. Hey, thanks for the super chat. So you guys know who those of you who are new here, a super chat is enabled uh, for the show. Uh, and I promise to read out all of the super chats. And if you ask a question, of course, I'll give you an in-depth answer. Uh, some other people, I worry that I, I'll miss you. Uh, but if you super chat, I definitely won't miss you. Uh, Scott McKendry, thanks for opening up the super chat today. I really do appreciate it. Okay, well, guys, I've been doing a lot of talking and I haven't had any water. So if you give me just one second, I'm just going to go grab some water. If uh, somebody comes by and is like, what the heck's going on? Where is he? Uh, I'm just run to go get some water. Thanks again, Scott. Pete, how long will you live? Mm, I don't know. I hope a long time. But you never know. Uh, check it out. Hack a day under Wi-Fi doorbell. I turned my pie into an IOD T device. Someone just fell in another room. Philip says, hi, guys. The wild Pete flees. I'm back. Okay. What should I do next? I should I could plug this in and just play with the projector. I will do that. I will do that first. And just just play with the projectory thingy. What am I gonna project it onto? I don't know. Let's let's try projecting it and just see what it does. I didn't really hmm, I didn't really think about what I was gonna project it onto. I got an idea. Ha! Got an idea. Okay, first I'm gonna plug it in, then I'm gonna do my idea. Oh, I don't know if I can do my idea. Yeah, maybe I can. 
Okay. So let's just take a look at this thing before we go any further. I'm going to pretend like I'm doing a real review here. I say pretend like a real review. I'm going to do a real review here. So this is obviously the on off. This is go left. This is go right. This is okay. So I'd use those, I guess, in the menu. Uh, this looks like it's choose the different inputs. And this, I don't know. It says U on it. I have no idea. On the back side here, we have what looks like the bit for the remote. There's an AV hole, which is probably what that, that yellow cable was for. And then there's headphones out. Here is the five volt DC in five volt. Hey, that doesn't make any sense. In five volt. But the power supply is here, DC in. Okay, I gotta go back to the instruction booklet in a second. Uh, this of course has a USB out on the side. Don't know why it has one of those. Not sure, this looks like a little speaker. This is obviously the lens. This is the adjustable thingy. Like I say, it's geared, so it feels really good. And then on the bottom it says power 12 volt, two amp. Oh, I'll turn that around. 12 volt, two amp image unit LCD, and the lamp is LED. The reason that I got this one straight up is this hole. That hole means that I can mount this on a tripod. Straight up. So this happens to be a tripod mountery thing so that I can put this in the place of, so I can put this in the place of my action camera. I'll do that in just a second. Let's go ahead and plug this in. It seemed to make a noise, but it's not doing anything yet. Blinking. Got a little fan. It's got a little fan and the fan is blowing. Oh, this clearly does not work on <laughs> on just stainless steel. Look at it. It's like it's like shining a flashlight in your eyes. Okay, look, give me one second. Here's onto a white screen. White-ish screen. No, that's totally not gonna work either. Oh wait, maybe it will, and I just need to focus it. No, that sucks. Okay, next. Here's what I initially had planned, even though I've got some doubts now. This is that this is that desk mat that I got. That looks that looks pretty saucy. Oh, except it's all out of focus now. There we go. Nope, that's terrible too. Here. Okay, well, I'm going to need to think of another solution to this. Hmm. Give me a sec, boys. I can figure out a solution. Okay, so the black mat definitely does not work. It's a good idea, though. Super good idea. Okay, what about just a white piece of white piece of paper? Maybe I need to be further away. I need to be further away. And you know what? I could probably this power cable's too short. I could probably do with turning the lights on.
No, it's too. It's too. It's too short. I gotta figure out something else. Okay, hold on one sec. I need to. First, I'm gonna turn it off. I thought I was gonna turn it off. Okay, it's off. Okay, now it's off. I can unplug it. Huh. Okay, I need like an extension cable or something. Okay, just one sec, guys. I'm going to go find an extension cable. need to be a certain distance for that thing to work mm -hmm. so I mean it's not the best it's not the best solution in the world but it'll it'll work you know for the short term by the time this is over step my desk is gonna be completely covered with crap it's gonna be real bad This is where I imagine it living. It's like here. Like this. Okay, I'm just gonna... No, that doesn't work. You need the paper. Does it need to be higher? Or... Just checking how far away it needs to be. It's kind of cool, actually, that it... The further away I get with it, the better it... The better it seems to go. But the only problem is it's the other side of my camera now. See, that's when it's that's when it's good, but it's way bigger than my desk. Hold on a sec. I'm just going to project this to the wall. You won't be able to see it for a second. But look at that stuff. That's actually really impressive. It's not bad at all, is it? Well, not for 30 bucks or whatever. Not for $30. Okay, hold on. But look, you can't see it on that wall at all. Wait, maybe if I... No. But that's pretty... It's not meant for that far away. Hold on, hold on. Turn out, the, turn out those lights. No, that sucks. It's not meant for that far away. Yeah, so across the room it's not that good. But at two meters it's pretty, it's pretty good. It's pretty grand, actually. Okay, well, look, I'm going to mount this another time. That's not really the object of today's. It's not really the point of today's live stream. Although, I could easily just be fascinated by this. It's it's surprisingly good. Uh, how, could I, how could I show this off? Harry Biker says, put a lens over it to try and focus it closer. What sort of lens? Like a UV filter? That won't do it, will it? I don't really have the sort of lens that would... No. I don't really have the sort of lens that I would need in order to do that. I mean, I have my glasses. But... That's just going to make it look like the projector's got an astigmatism. Wow, my glasses are super dirty. All right. Um well, we'll come back to we'll come back to this. All right, I'm going to turn the lights back on for a sec. Okay. 
Oh, I, I just saw it now. Thanks, buddy. I don't know why I didn't see it, uh, Stanislaw, a second ago. It says, uh, JK Games, explain to him what your channel is about. Are you asking JK Games to explain to me? Or or me to explain it to him? I can explain it to him. My channel is uh, a lot about live streams and technology. I focus a lot on mechanical keyboards, uh, which not only is a passion of mine, but I also own oneupkeyboards.com, which is a pretty cool channel. Um, it's a pretty cool store for mechanical keyboard stuff. See, like, how cool is that stuff? It just clips right into this. But that has no purpose at the moment. Very cool, though. I, if, Harry Biker, if I had a magnifying glass... Wait a sec. I had one. Oh, Where, it was in one of these boxes, isn't it? Or did you put it in a drawer? I don't think I did put it in a drawer. $35 projector with a $3 magnifying glass. And the answer is... The answer is... No. But good effort. What if I, what if I go the other way? Then I go magnifying glass. No. Oh, that was actually in focus for a split second. Oh, look at that. Oh, you can't see it, but I can. It's super high def. No, it didn't. Totally didn't work. Whatever. That's not the be-all and end-all of this stream. This stream is also about hooking it up with my Raspberry Pi. Take that horrible plastic casing off. Hey, you what? Okay, let's unplug this because this is not, this is not the only purpose. The other purpose is, and like I said, I knew I wasn't going to get it fully working today. I always knew that. Uh, but I thought I would show off first the awesome little projector, which we'll play with more later. And the other part is getting the Raspberry Pi up to scratch to show what it can do. And now that I've said that, you know what I should do? I should get something so that it, this stays. Oh, no, I could just put it on this. For those of you who don't know, I run oneupkeyboards.com. This is my store. Um... Now that that's there, I can take this. I can take this off of here. Okay, one second, one second. Change of plans as I go. Okay, that. This is going to be to power the Pi. I'll stick that there. And then all I need is a USB cable. And I'll use this one. Hmm, that doesn't look like it's all the way in. There we go. Um, all right. The way this is going to go is like this. First, I'm going to need to insert the power. That will eventually go over to this thing. Then I also need, oh yeah, I need the USB hub. I'm gonna need the USB hub. So I'll put that there. Told you it was gonna be messy. Okay, then I'm gonna plug this into here. Oh. Powered USB hubs are the best. Okay, and then this is gonna go across over to 
here and then into this guy. Great. And then what I need is my OTG cable, which is going to go from my Raspberry Pi Zero over to my hub. For those of you who don't know, I built that cable myself on the live stream some time ago. Uh, okay, I also need a micro adapter. It's not actually a micro, that's HDMI mini. And then that's gonna go into here like this. You can't see that, that's my action cam HDMI cable. And that's gonna go into there. Yeah. Uh, okay, and then I need to plug in, I need a mouse and a keyboard. So I've got a mouse here. This is going to be my mouse. Uh, maybe I'll move. What do I? Maybe I can move that over like that. And then the mouse I'll put here like this. And I'll go across the desk like this into here. And then I also need a keyboard. So let's get the most expensive keyboard that I have. And plug that. Uh, let's move this over here. Oh, it scratches up my desk. Maybe I'll move that off of there. Uh -oh. Okay, and then... Oh, yeah, the desk is wobbly. And then... And then I need to get a cable to plug that in. Gonna go with... Gonna go with this cable. I still think the USB on the side of the projector can power your Pi. I think you're right. I hope I hope you're right. Um, seeing your stuff on Mass Drop is actually how I found you. Oh, cool, Eric. That's awesome. Sorry, guys. Uh, I'm falling way behind on the chat. Let me answer some questions on the on the the, the chat. Oh, let's see inside the projector. Uh, I'll get to that. I'll get to that another time. I don't know if this is plastic. I think this is plastic. I think that might be metal. I'm not really. No, maybe that's. I think that. I'm not sure. I'll I'll look into that later. Okay, but what I need to do though is plug this guy into here. Oh no, it doesn't fit. That doesn't fit. The OTG cable I made on a live stream using parts from uh, oneupkeyboards.com. So if you have a Raspberry Pi Zero and you're looking to make an OTG cable, uh, that's a great way to do it. Okay. So now I've got my keyboard plugged in. Oh, the only other thing is the mouse isn't going to work on that desk. So I need to put a uh, piece of paper or something under it. Hmm. Hmm. One second. I don't have any cool little bits of paper or anything to put it on. Oh, maybe I'll put it on this little, on this wooden, this thing. That'll be, that'll be a cool thing for it. Yeah, sure, that'll do. Sixty-seven viewers here. Let's just do a little bit of channel stuff while we're here. 55, wow, 55 likes. Thanks, guys. That's awesome. If you haven't already liked the channel, please do. If you haven't already pressed subscribe, please do. Um, I'm just going to switch over to the uh, selfie cam here. Oh. This is the number of people who've joined today and subscribed. Thank you very much if you've just come today to subscribe. This is my wife Stephanie's head right through there. You can see her. There she is. That's my wife, Steph. Uh, she often participates in the shows, um, and, and that's why. Um, cool. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press, uh, this, my everything camera and remind you that the action cam, oh, wait, uh, the, uh, what the action cam, there we go. The action cam right here is the one that I'm about to start using. And what I'm going to do is when I plug in the raspberry Pi, uh, that's how I'm going to do it. So 
it's going to be mostly black. No, that's not it. Uh, this one? There we go. It's mostly black, but what you're about to see in a second, this is going to be the Raspberry Pi Zero booting up. At least I hope so. What? What? Welcome to Pixel. Hi, everybody. Uh, why don't I say hello to everybody while this is going on? Welcome to Pixel powered by Raspbian. Does it usually take this long to load? Uh, X Lokin, Eric Leone, Gimp Geek, X Lokin, Lord Slaps. What's up? Not really Deadless. Welcome. JK Games, welcome. Thanks for subbing. Um, Sour Potato Mango. Oh, yeah. If you didn't know, uh, the mechanical keyboard thing can be extremely expensive. Uh, I don't know why this is taking so long to load. Unfortunately, I can't read that. It's too small for me. Uh... Uh, things are, uh, things are not looking good. Uh, um, do you know why things aren't looking good? Because I'm trying to do it live. If you want something guaranteed to not work properly. Uh, uh Eric Leone, I'm going to say not fast enough. Uh, so let's. Uh, let's press this and let's go back and start uh, pulling stuff apart here because that is not going to work. So unfortunately uh, for me, this Kingston card, uh, I might as well eat it for all the use that it's going to do for me. There you go. Kingston speed four HC SD eight gigabytes in a Marsha pa doesn't work. Um, So, yeah. I'm just going to push this a little more on the screen so you guys can look at a beautiful keyboard while I go get another SD card and uh, try to put another version of Raspbian on it and then we'll start to play because that sucks. That super sucks, man. Oh, corrupted. Okay. Uh, I'm going to ditch this. I'm going to go grab another one. Uh, thank you to all of my 60 viewers who are currently here and 58 likes. Hey, that's pretty good. 58 likes for 60 viewers. That's pretty much good. Um, thank you again. If you haven't already, please do press like. Please do press subscribe. Uh, just to give you a bit of a spiel about it, uh, I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. And there's a reason. Look at Steph's little eye right there. Look at that. Hello, eye. Uh, I'm trying to get to uh, 100,000 subscribers so that I can host a live stream inside the YouTube space here in New York City. So... Um, that's why, that's why we're doing that. Uh, that's why I keep pumping it so much. That's why, you know, ext fs4 error. Okay, well, I'm just gonna say this card is dead. And that's why it was in that little box and that's why I don't use it. Let me see if I got another one. We'll go from there. Well, this is gonna slow the stream down a little bit, isn't it?
puts a damper on things, huh? I have this one here. You know what? Look on the back side of the TV because they were summoned some white envelopes. They're just like plain white envelopes. No. No, there's none that are falling down the back end? No. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. My 32 gigabyte Evo Plus from Samsung. Is this going to work? Pete, have you seen the Asus Tinkerboard? I've not. What are either of those? No, mine too. No, I just need to buy some more micros. Need to buy a boatload of them. Because it's amazing, you know, how many of them you go through. Uh, all right, let's cut this puppy open. Uh, Steph, where's your scissors? No. Then what did you do with them? So this is what was inside. Now I'm gonna take this, open it up, throw that in the bin. Uh, if you guys haven't done this before, it's pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna pop this into my Mac right now. And I've got a Raspbian on my desktop and I'm just gonna get that puppy all lined up. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, guys, it's going to be a couple of seconds. While you have some free time, why don't you go over to, do you see this? Awesome sticker, right? YouTube. Love it. Uh, don't forget, uh, you can go over and check out a one-up keyboards while this is going on. Uh, just to, uh, why not? It'll just be a couple of seconds. What I'm going to do is, Oh, fruit snacks. Love fruit snacks. Um, what I'm going to do is once I get this underway here, uh, I'll come back and answer all your questions. Excuse me. Just uh, you mounting. Uh, doing the disc dump now. Uh, and we're just waiting while the disc dump is happening. I'm just going to show you on my thing. Um, just waiting while the disc dump happens. Uh, and what I'm going to do while that's going on, I'm just going to go wipe my glasses. Stephanie Drowney. 
can I skip it? Wow. That's how you trip over stuff. Fall, die. Oh. Just making sure the screen didn't go blank while I was gone. Thank you. Uh, the pie, can it run CSGO? No, I don't think it can, but I'm pretty sure it can run Minecraft. You know what else these things can do? They can they can run the retro games. What's it called? Retro Pie? They're pretty useful for that actually. Retro Pie's cool. In fact, that's what I could do with this. Ooh, that's an idea. Ooh, that is an idea. I could run Retro Pie. Ooh. Could run retro pry into this little projector. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, that would be cool, right? Mm -hmm. Like a forty dollar gaming system. And you have the remotes too. Ooh. Eric Leone says retro pry is great. I tried using a projector to play a video game from Chip on board. The performance is terrible. Any concerns about the Pi Zero dropping frame rates for video? Possibly, Possibly for sure. But uh, Vishal, um, the Pi Zero is particularly good at playing 1080p, so I'm less worried about that. Yeah, OSMC, uh, Jorge says, um, OSMC, I use, I actually have a Raspberry Pi. You can't, you can't see it, you can't see it behind me. I gotta, hold on, let me switch over to the biggie. There, that TV right there is this TV right here is actually running OSMC on it through a Raspberry Pi. Which camera am I supposed to be looking at? That one? Yeah, that one. Yeah, that's uh, that's actually running it um, currently. Thank you to everybody who's pressed subscribe today. That's awesome. Look at look at that. We're up to twenty three thousand four hundred eight. Thank you very much, and thank you again to Stanislaw JK Games. Explain to him what your channel is about. I think I did do that. I think ish. Pete, what you said is under fifty dollars. What about your keyboard? Not in, <laughs> not including the, not including the. Um, but you know what? This this has a remote, and there's a chance that you could actually through run this. Through, I don't know. I'm just saying there's a possibility. I'm not saying for sure. I'm just saying there's a chance. So this keyboard uh, I made in last week's live stream. It. Uh, can I just type with it? sounds awesome because it is awesome and that all right done done let's see now let's see if we can get this to work there's the uh, 32 gigabyte fiching that I just fichinged this we're gonna plug in here and I'm gonna press over to the action cam plus selfie I'm very sorry about that few minute delay that we had but hopefully now Rebooting in five seconds. Now, if the memory corrupts on this again, then we know that it's underpowered. Uh, but given that I'm hopeful. Yeah, I know it's not an HD projector, guys, but like for 35 bucks, it's pretty hard to fight with it. I can't read what it's saying. It's even though this is in full 1080p, 
I personally am watching this on a monitor that's not 1080p. Link Designs, what's going on? Just joined the stream, what did I miss? Uh, I've opened up a $35 projector. It's linked in the about section below. Uh, I then plugged in my Pi, it didn't work, so now I fixed it, I hope, and now I'm going again. We're gonna see if we can make the Raspberry Pi work. Uh, projector is uh, surprisingly good, but uh, it's not really conducive to my setup. My setup is uh, like a stainless steel desk, and it just blings straight back, uh, so that's not great. Uh, I need to get it further away to get it to be what I want it to be, and I haven't quite figured out how to do that yet, but, uh, whoa! Okay, well, there's good news and bad news here. Uh, the good news is it's working. The bad news is there's border around it. Let me just check on the, why is that, why is there a border there? I don't know. Oh, it does look good though, doesn't it? Oh. Uh, so I always, as a first recourse, change this, and this I'm going to call my uh, projector pie. Uh, I need to then expand file system. And it'll work when I reboot, and I will reboot in just a second. Uh, I'm going to set the time zone to, uh, what are we here, Steph? Eastern. Yeah, but that's GMT minus five. No. GMT minus five. Uh, Plus five. Alexa, what time zone is New York City? The time zone in New York City is Eastern Standard Time. New York City and New York City are both in EST, UTC minus five. Minus, minus five. five, which is that one, I believe, <laughs> is that one. Oh, that's, this is way easier. So again, I'm not looking at this in full 1080p here. I'm looking at this in US location. Eastern. Okay. Well, hello to everybody who's just joined. Jabrail is here. Ken Kenny Lilly is here. Eric Leone is here. Uh, Ricardo is here. Jorge, I've already said hello. Uh, thank you to everybody who's joined. Uh, for those of you who've uh, just tuned in, please do press like and please do press subscribe. Um, don't forget, of course, you can watch this in full 1080p, which is great. Um, I'm about to, uh, I'm just going to check here. I'm switching this over to 1080 and I just want to take a look at the. That is pretty kick ass, actually. So for those of you who are brand new to Raspberry pi uh this is Raspberry Pi. Uh, this is the Wolfram. This is, uh, what's this? Mathematics. Um, the terminal, that's where I spend the most of my time. File manager and the web browser. Uh, this is the Pi Zero, so it's not exactly the uh, most sprightly thing. But I'm just going to press OK here, and then I'm going to reboot the system. Uh, yes. Uh, but I'm actually going to reboot twice, and there's a method to my madness. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. Sour potato mango. Oh, you got it working. Yeah, I totally got it working. For those of you who are just back, it wasn't working, but now it is. Oh, that was Mathematica. I just looked over at the other screen, which is playing this back. Mathematica, of course, is different than mathematics. Meta Macro says, this is not Linus Tech Tips, LOL. No, it is not. This is a live stream. This is uh, me being me.
Some people just want to watch the stream burn. Maybe it will. There's time yet. So the Pi Zero is rebooting uh, just right now. Needs to update the host name, but you know what I haven't done yet is I haven't enabled this to be on my network yet. I'm gonna re remove the picture of my head for a few seconds just so I can show the stuff underneath it. Excuse me, you can see um, over in the top right corner here, this is how much CPU usage uh, is happening right now. This is uh, Bluetooth and the network. Of course, neither of those are currently installed. This is for audio, uh, but there's no audio available um, Hmm, why is there no audio available? No, there probably is. Uh, this says eject. Select a drive menu to eject safely. There's no, but there's no drives in there. This is the start menu. There's some cool stuff in here. You can do some uh, basic programming. For those of you who are new to the Pi, this is the Raspberry Pi Zero. It's excellent. It's super, I mean, it's, it's $5. Um, this is LibreOffice. Uh, this is basically your your office stuff. Uh, this uses the Chromium web browser, which is kick-ass. And, uh, of course, there's all this uh, other stuff here. VNC is how you can connect to it remotely. Uh, the Magpie is a cool uh, resource. These are more resources. There's a mail program. Uh, games, there's Python games, and, of course, Minecraft. Never played Minecraft. I've heard a lot about it, but I've never actually played it myself. Uh, Archiver and some other you know useful stuff, text editor, file manager, that sort of stuff. Uh, and then this is where your preferences are and you can do all sorts of fun stuff. This is obviously the new the new design. It looks pretty good. I'm just going to go to desktop preferences and just see what other wallpapers I've got. Um, now that actually was the wallpaper there. Road. What else you got here? Aurora. Balloons. Yeah, I don't care. Bridge. Ooh. Yeah. That's totally New York, guys. Where do you think I'm broadcasting from right now? It's totally, it's New York. It's awesome. Super awesome. I'm just really excited about the, the bridge. It's Brooklyn Bridge, everybody. It's the, no, it's this finger. It's the new World Trade Center, that over there. I don't know what this is, building is right here. But you know what? In this picture, I live over there. Over. No, wait a sec. I don't. Actually, actually, I live, I live over. No, I live over there. I live down that way. Is that right? I'm pretty sure that's right. I live over there. Over there. Way down over there. No, not way down, but over there somewhere. Is that a view out of your window? No. The view out of my window is just perfectly pitch black right now. Uh, we have 67 viewers, and uh, I'm just going to press escape on this thing. 66 viewers and 71 likes. Thank you very much to everybody who's tuned in today. Okay, i got to do the next thing, and the next thing is weird because I've got to plug in a... I've got to plug in some sort of wireless dongle. You can't really use these things without wireless thing, wirelessly doing it. Where do I have a wireless dongle? Steph, can I ask you a favor, love? Can you look in that box over there for a wireless dongle? smaller than that. No, that's a Bluetooth. Uh, one sec, guys. is 
is 802.11.m. Yeah, this one's going to work, though. Okay, I'm going to reboot again, because you never know. Usually with Linux, things work best when you reboot. They don't work well. It's not, it's not a plug-and-play system so much. Peep d d d drops the base at 500 likes. Our record is 1,000 likes. I don't think we're going to get there today, but you won't believe the things that go, go down when we hit 1,000 likes. Things go cray-cray. All right, we're rebooting here. That's what's supposed to be happening anyways. I'm uh, always nervous on these reboots. Don't reboot, just patch. Yeah, I know. Okay, let's see. I gotta move my head here. Turn off Wi Fi. That's not what I want. There we go. All right, well, this is the part where it gets super fun because I don't want you to know my, my username and password, but I can't put it in unless it's up on screen, so. Things are going to get super freaky weird. Huh. It's like a quagmire. It's like a riddle wrapped in a mystery. How am I meant to get around this? Her. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't figured it out. Uh, okay, but I have two riddles that I need to figure out. I have two riddles. The other one is if I can't live stream onto this desk, if I can't project onto the desk, I'm going to need to do something slightly different with this. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -mm. Okay. We can cover our eyes. <laughs> What a lovely suggestion. What an absolutely splendid. You'll have to swap to a real screen for a moment. No, I know, but I can't. Because I don't have any real screens. Except the screens that you're watching on. Use your laptop. I can't use my laptop because I need it to connect. And I can't use the projector because... Are you using... You're, you are not using OBS Studio, are you? I am! Oh my god! Yes, thank you so much. That's exactly how I'm going to solve this problem. I'm going to go over and I'm going to press studio mode. And then I'm going to go, I'm going to go here. Uh, I'm going to get out of studio mode for a second. I'm going to switch over to overhead plus selfie. And then over in studio mode, I'm going to switch this desktop over to Hmm. Just click on it. Except I can't see it because it's the tiniest goddamn thing I've ever seen. Okay, that one moved over to the other thing. But I can't. I can't see it. It's like the most microscopic thing in the world. Like no, but look at it. It's, it's tiny. Make it bigger. Look, it's got a frame to it. Pull it larger. So you can no, that frame is that frame is something totally different. No, sorry guys, this didn't work. Can you pull that somewhere else onto a different part of it? 
No. Didn't work. Ah, it's okay. It works. We know that it's going to work. I just need to do it by setting it up through the thing. Okay, let's let's do that then. Let's go to let's go back to action cam. And let's go back in over here. And let's let's do it again. Let's boot out of this thing. Oh, you can't Shut it down. Shut her down. Pete Soku wants you to say my name. Stanislaw Augustniak. Augustiniak. I tried. That's an effort. I'm going to open the door because it's like scorching hot in the studio here. You guys will get to enjoy the sounds of New York City. Oh, it's gorgeous out there. Okay, so switching back over to action cam, this thing is turned off, which is perfect, which means that I can take this and unplug it from my action cam and start getting ready to plug that into my, uh, my projector. Now I need a really short HDMI cable to do that. I've got one here, but it's not really short enough. So just give me one second. Let me see if I've got a shorter HDMI cable nearby. No, that's not, uh, this one's, this one's kind of short, and I think I have an even shorter one, it's a USB, I think I have an even shorter one. Funny HDMI cables. It's got HDMI cables coming out the wazzy. All right. So first things first, let's plug this puppy in here. Second things first, let's plug that into this guy. You know things are working great when this thing is standing straight up on your desk. It's, it's actually, look, it's right in the middle of my, that's a great shot. All right, let's unplug that. Let's then plug this puppy back in. And then plug that back in. Okay. We got good news and we got bad news. The good news is it appears that everything is now working. The bad news is I can't see anything because this projector needs more space than what I can give it. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm.
I don't know how much. I don't think I can go any further right now. I think this is as far as I can go. The only other thing, the only other thing I can do, hold on, it's if I do this and that, is uh, possibly shut it down. Uh, but I could just check if this thing would actually run off of this, which I'm sure that it will. But that still doesn't get me any closer to what I need to do. Huh. Here. Okay, well that was fun. Look at how messy my desk is. But I think for now I'm going to have to cut it off here. Thank you very much to everybody who tuned in. Uh, I'm going to have to make a couple of changes to the way that this all works together. Uh, I'm going to need to change the location of this camera. I'm going to need to put up another device thing so that I can uh, plug this in. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Actually, it's not that interesting. It's only kind of interesting. But for a $35 projector and a $5 computer, it's pretty damn cool. If you haven't already, please do go check out in the About section the link from Banggood. Thank you very much to Banggood for uh, sending this through. Um, if you haven't already, you should go buy yourself a Raspberry Pi Zero. Uh, if you haven't already, please do press like and please do press subscribe. Um... Press like, press subscribe, uh, make sure you watch it in 1080p, and come back tomorrow. We're going to do some keyboard stuff tomorrow. Uh, in the meantime, thanks to everybody who tuned in today. I'm not really sure how to progress this thing. Show other Pi projects. That is super difficult to do. That is super, super difficult. To the only one that I've gotten nearby... is this, which is my live streamer. Have you seen this? It's a time-lapse camera, also a live streamer. It live streams. It's pretty cool, actually. It's a pretty damn cool the chain for 35 bucks uh, and a camera for 20 bucks. Um, let me explain what I'm... Let me finish explaining what I'm going to do with this thing when it's done. So my plan is to do projection mapping so that when I put my hands on screen that it'll like uh, highlight my hands and or uh, it'll be able to respond to questions. Um, it'll also in the future, I think, show the uh, super chat. It'll actually show the super chat on channel um, while I'm doing it. So that'll be cool. Put it on a tripod and point it at the wall. Yeah, that's totally what I was, that's totally what I was up to. Um, the only problem is I don't have any cameras that point at the wall. The only camera that I have that points at the wall is that wall over there, and I know that it's not nearly strong enough to point at that wall. Uh, what else could I do here? It's this camera that I'm looking at, right? That's Steph's ear. That's her eye. Thank you again to everybody who tuned in today. Uh, I'm going to figure some stuff out and then get back to you guys real soon. Uh, thanks again. I really do appreciate it. Thanks again to Banggood for sending this through. Uh, thank you again to everybody who uh, tuned in and supported the show, especially to uh, Stanislaw and Scott McKendry who uh, pitched in some money for the super chat. I really do appreciate it, guys. Don't forget, please press subscribe, please press like, and we'll see you guys again soon. Thanks again. In fact, we'll see you tomorrow. That's the plan. That's the plan. That's the plan. Take the projector apart to see if the focus lens can be moved further or closer than the lens will allow. Now, that's a guy who just, he loves a project. But hey, man, let's do this. Why not do it, right? Let's pull that let's pull this out of here like this bang it's out let's start tearing all this stuff apart get some more space back on the desk and then let's do that I got a bit of time 
Let's let's hang out. Let's let's tear this thing apart and see what, exactly what's inside of it. Sure, that's a that's a fair thing to do. I think, anyways. It only seems like there's one screw. Nope. There's no screw under there. Unfortunately, there are little screws under the feet. Not under that foot, actually. Just under this foot. I was hopeful for that. I thought it was just gonna peel right off. No, there's another one under there. There definitely isn't one under here. There definitely isn't one under there. Huh. Huh. Anybody ever seen anybody take one of these apart? I don't think so. I just doubt it very much. There's no... Well, this thing is not coming apart. There's those screws 
there's an, it is just as solid as when I started. Well, I'm going to give up. Didn't take much for me. Use the force. No, I think that's, that's what was next with this thing was force. And I want to use it. I actually want to, you know, play with it. So, um... I think unfortunately I'll need to watch a video on how to take it apart or how to improve it before I do any any more of that Well, thank you again to everybody for tuning in today. It didn't quite work out as planned, but it was still fun all the same. Uh, I do appreciate you guys hanging out with me on this fine Saturday evening. Uh, as I said, I'll be back again tomorrow uh, to show off some uh, cool keyboardy stuff. Unfortunately, this I don't think will be part of the channel just yet. Uh, this will have to be a slightly longer project uh, while I figure out exactly how I'm going to use this thing. but. Thanks again uh, for everybody who tuned in and for everybody who supports the channel. Uh, if, you, if you haven't already, you can support this channel on Patreon or you can buy me a coffee in the About section below. Thanks to everybody who's already done that. Uh, of course, you can use Super Chat. Thank you to everybody who has used uh, Super Chat, uh, both today and in past shows. Really do appreciate you guys coming and hanging out. It's the second time I've tried to uh, tried to pull away. Uh, I think this time I am actually genuinely going to pull away. Thanks again. Really do appreciate it, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. And don't forget to press subscribe. Uh, because, oh, I'll show you how to press subscribe so you catch all the live streams. Check this out. Okay, guys, here's how you subscribe and catch all the live streams. First, click subscribe like you normally would. Then click the gear beside it. Now you'll see the notification menu. Click send me all notifications for this channel. That means that next time I start my live stream, you'll get a notification to let you know it's about to start. Still see there's a couple questions coming in. Where did I get the pie from? I got mine from Micro Center that cost just $5, which is great. Um, Uh, you know what? I'm going to do more Raspberry Pi content in the near future. Uh, I just need a chance to uh, get myself organized and, uh, and figure out ahead of time exactly what I'm going to do with it. But uh, thank you again to everybody who joined in today, uh, everybody who participated in today's show. I really do definitely appreciate that. So thanks again. When from? Uh, tomorrow's stream... We'll probably start at, what are we talking? Earlier. Yeah, we'll try to do earlier. How about, how about we, realistically, we try for three, but realistically, if things don't happen at three, it'll be at four. By four o'clock tomorrow, you have my word, we'll be streaming. At the latest. Hopefully by three. All right. Well, thanks again. Really do appreciate you guys coming to hang out. We will see you all again soon. Uh, don't forget, uh, as I always like to do, uh, the stream will end now, but if you guys would like to continue talking, of course you can. Thanks again to everybody who supports this channel. Thanks to everybody who pressed like and who joined the channel by pressing subscribe today. Thanks again, welcome, and thank you to all my mods. Really do appreciate you guys hanging out and helping uh, keep this place a great place to be. Thanks again, see you guys soon.